Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great and I have some exciting things I wanna share with you today, so let's jump in. So friends, before we jump into my home, I have something to tell you. I have an announcement to make. For the past year, I have been working on something that has been a dream of mine, something that has been an amazing journey and I want to share it with you today. I have written my very first home organization book called Beautifully Organized. I am so, so proud of this book. I wanted to write a book that would help so many people and not only help you with the simple organization of your home, which we all think about all the time, about bins and baskets and drawers and closets. I wanted to share tips with you on how to beautifully organize your home, how to think a little bit outside the box with creative sources when you organize, and how to think beyond the basics of just the act of organizing, but all of the aspects needed to truly create a beautifully organized home. I also wanted this book to be a resource for you. I wanted it to be something that after you read it, you could use it year after year after year because it had so many tools inside, so many charts and things that would help you around your home. And I wanted it to be something you could enjoy and that would put a smile on your face and that would have beautiful, vibrant uh, photographs that would inspire you. And so I wanted to put all of these things into one book. And if you're that person and you're sitting at home or you're going home frustrated, you don't know what to do in your home or where to start, and, or you've tried several systems to organize your home or to create a beautiful home, and you don't know how or what to do to kind of hit the mark, I am telling you this book will help you. And it is something that I'm so proud of because I share clear, concise tips on how to have that beautiful function and how to have a home that can create beautiful experiences and memories and all of the wonderful things that we should get from our home. So pre-orders are going on now. The book was inspired by you from all of our questions, from all the videos I shared from your questions. I hope you would just take one moment out of your day today to click the button in the description box, the Amazon link to purchase the book and go ahead and purchase your book. I will be looking and waiting and seeing if you're ordering today. So definitely if you would just take two, three minutes out of your day to order it so that on April 2nd, we can open the book together and enjoy the book. And I'm so proud of it. With that being said, because I am announcing my book today, I thought it would be fun to kind of look through my home. Let's jump into a little mini tour of my home. Okay friends, so let's start with the hub of the home, at least in my house and in many of your houses also, and that's the kitchen, which I like to call the meeting space. And this is a space where we come to several times a day and we start our day out here a lot of times and have a cup of coffee, have great conversation. And you will, will remember, if you've been with me a while, my kitchen was not always a beautiful place. So Mike and I did a renovation. We took you on that journey. And ever since, we have been loving the kitchen. And I love that I was able to go through, reassess my space, and make sure that I had systems in place that functioned well for us. And some non-traditional systems, but they work for us. And I love finding non-traditional ways to organize my home. And I tell you, we have gotten so much joy out of the kitchen. And the systems that we have in place work and function so well. Well, and it's about finding what works for you. Example, my entertaining closet where I keep my serving pieces is actually a coat closet, but living in South Carolina, we don't need a coat closet, so I have better use of the space. So now let's move into what I like to call the experience space, which is the dining room. And if you've been with me a while, you know that there has been so many beautiful experiences in this room, from entertaining during the summer and the holidays and family and friends over. And it's one of the first spaces that you see in my home, so I love that it's not the most used space every day of the year so that it's easy to maintain. But I tried to get the most function out of the space because it really is one of the larger spaces in the home. So it works out great to put things like my guest shoe covers for when uh, service people come to work on the home or guest socks for friends. I also have had to assess the space over time because I have a love for things like uh, silver and 
silver pieces and serving wear. And so you have been on that journey of me uh, purging down my space and really keeping just those things I need. You know, I don't need a ton of silver. So I have purged down my silver and really have what really makes me happy. So now let's move into the next space, which I like to call the gathering space. This is the space in the home where family loves to gather. Mike and I, we come here every day and we sit around after a day's work and we can have a glass of wine, we can talk. I love it to have at the holidays, family comes around and this is where everybody kind of sits around and have laughs and just enjoy being together. And one thing that I like is that it incorporates some things that Mike and I love. We love DIY projects. So we made our coffee table here and it's just such a conversation piece in the in the room along with we love having our family photos in the space so that we can all look at and enjoy those. The next space is specialty spaces such as the media room and you all will remember this was a project that Mike and I did where we transformed a bedroom into a kind of media theater room for us and friends this gets so much use. Mike and I love kicking back on the weekends watching a great movie and we really made the space fit our needs and it's really comfortable. We even took the closet and made a little bar area and so that pulls out if we ever want to make it back into a closet but it has been working out great. So the next space is what I like to call the management space. This is the home office and it's the space where the bills get paid, it's the space where you can surf the web, it's the space that holds all of the home items, home documents and things like that and so it's really nice to have a room dedicated to this because it can kind of prevent paper clutter uh, in the entire home or things having to be spread out. Another space that I like to call the MVP space is actually the laundry room because it really pulls a heavy load within a household. Even with Mike and I being a household of two, it's just laundry, it does not dis discriminate. And so that is one thing that I guarantee that all of us have in our homes. And so I love that I have created a system that really works for us to help maintain that. Now let's talk about the rejuvenation space, which is the bedroom. It's the space where we come to to rejuvenate. So you'll notice I don't like to keep dressers and things in my bedroom because I like for the space to really be one that we can enjoy and not a space for um, a lot of storage. You know, I have bedside storage that accommodates our needs while we're in the bed, but as for clothes, clothes and things like that, I like to keep them either kind of in their closets. I do have a non-traditional space for linens, but other than that, I don't like having big pieces of furniture in my actual bedroom uh, that will, you know, provide storage, but then also take up space for me to and Mike to relax. So since we're talking about closet, let's talk about other closets within the home, starting with the utility closet, which is centralized in the space in the hallway upstairs, which is great because it makes it easy to get to all of the cleaning things when we need it and easy to put it back. Now the linen closet is located in the bathroom, which is great because we have it color coded by Mike and I and it helps keep things in order. Now moving to one of the final spaces that I'm going to share with you today and I, and I got some upcoming videos where I'm going to be sharing so many more spaces as they're currently being updated and I have so many different things going on that I'm excited to bring to you this year. But the garage was one that was made over recently so I'll link that video below but we have been loving it. If you have not already pre-ordered your book, Beautifully Organized, the link is in the description box below. Friends, I'm so excited for you to get this in your hand. Please go order today. And then on April 2nd, we will look at it together. I hope you all have a beautiful day. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki.